In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Google Drive for desktop application. This app allows you to access files from your Google Drive directly from your computer without having to go into a browser to access them. So the first thing that you need to do is uh, access the application, which has already been pre-installed on all of your computers. So there's two ways that you can access this. The first way is you can click on this Macintosh HD uh, the hard drive right here and go to the applications folder from there or you could go from uh, into your finder window and open up finder choose applications and now you will see google drive here so go ahead and double click on google drive now the first time you click on google drive rather than taking you immediately to sign in there will be a couple preferences that you will need to enable it'll say please enable these certain things and it'll say take me to system preferences uh, and it will take you straight there once you click on the link to take you into system preferences, there will be a couple things that you'll need to enable. So first, I think under the privacy and accessibility tab, there's going to be something that you're gonna to need to enable for Google Drive. Uh, it's gonna take you straight there, so you'll just have to check the box for Google Drive. But before you can do that, you see that we have this grayed out situation here. So what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to click on the lock to unlock it. You're gonna type in your password, or if you've enabled Touch ID, you can use Touch ID to open this. And you want to make sure that this is checked. Um, then you will also have to go into this general tab here. And in this area, there will see uh, something that says system software from developer Google was blocked from loading. And you'll click allow. Once you've done that, you hit the lock and it saves those changes. Now that you've enabled Google Drive access to the necessary things on your computer, you sign in using your school email. Put in your password, and then you should be ready to go. So once you do that, uh, Google Drive will start loading all of your files, and it should put the application on your desktop, a shortcut there. Um, so basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to access everything that's already on your Google Drive straight from your computer here. So once you click Open Google Drive Folder, or you can just click on the Google Drive application here. It takes you into your Google Drive. So you'll see that I can click into my drive and these are Google Docs and Google Sheets files. But if I have something like a Word document here, so this is a Word document there, there, right? I can access these Word documents and actually make changes to the Word documents straight from my Google Drive. I don't have to download the documents and then re-upload them once I am done making these changes. So you can see that it's loading um, because it's trying to load all of the files from my Google Drive. And so if I click into my folder here and I want to go and edit a Microsoft Word document, just loading here, so give it a minute. It doesn't usually take this long. Once you um, populate everything in your Google Drive and once it loads, it usually is pretty seamless as far as the uh, amount of load time. Um, okay, so if I look in this folder here, I have this Word document. If I were to click and open it, it opens directly in Microsoft Word. So you'll see that it's gonna open here in just a second. I can go in and I can make my necessary changes. Um, so this is saying uh, it'll show who's editing. You'll see in the bottom right corner, it'll tell me who's editing. Um, and so I'm going to continue editing as Aaron. Uh, so I can go in, I can make these changes, right? I can make whatever changes I need. And then when I save it, right, if I were to save the file, it automatically saves directly in my Google Drive. I don't have to re-upload this document into my Google Drive. It saves all of my changes directly in my Google Drive, which is pretty nice, right? You don't have to uh, upload a new copy of whatever Word document or something that you've made a change to. Another thing that's pretty neat about this Google Drive for desktop application is if you have one of these Google uh, documents, so like a Google Doc or a Google Slides or a Google Sheets, if you click on it, it will just open it in your browser, right? So if you open this, it just opens it in your browser and then you can edit it straight away from there. So it saves all of your changes directly to your drive without needing to upload a file. If you edit something like a Word document, and then if you click on your Google Docs, it will take you straight into a browser to allow you to edit from there. So this is the Google Drive file stream app, 
or it's sorry, it was normally uh, previously called Google Drive File Stream. Now it's called Google Drive for Desktop. Um, and one thing that is also super helpful about this is you can actually use it to back up anything from your computer. So really all you need to do is you can just take any of your files, right? Any of your files, like if you want uh, something from your uh, downloads folder or you have a folder here on your computer, if you wanna just drag it straight into your Google Drive, it will automatically upload all of those documents into Google Drive. So this is a great way to back up your old computer if you'd like. You can literally just take like your documents folder from your PC and drag it straight into your Google Drive and it will automatically upload all of those documents straight into your Google Drive. Hopefully this video was helpful and this tool is something you can find yourself using.